So last week I said I was getting over a cold. That was a complete lie. The cold came back like punch from a bus or something. Yeah, I'm still sick. Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear my brother upstairs. He's like getting really loud. <laughs> Anyways, today is Monday at 6.40 p.m. I haven't read anything today. I've just been sleeping all day. I'm so like sleepy right now, but at the same time, I don't want to sleep anymore. I attended class online all day today. I was hoping to read Things You Save in a Fire by Captain Center. I might start that now. Okay, it's Tuesday, 1 p.m. I'm literally in the same spot as yesterday and in the same clothes. I read like 22 pages of Things You Save in a Fire by Captain Center. I got bored. <laughs> I thought I was in the mood for like a romance book. I guess not. So then I went on Libby and I was looking at the options. I found Raceling by Kristen Cashore or something. Got like 2% in. Also got bored of that. Am I in a reading slump? Like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> like, my midterms are finally done and then it's just like, I don't feel like reading all of a sudden. Why am I like this? I mean, I was hoping to get two assignments done this week anyway before next week so then I didn't have to worry about anything next week because after next week, we have reading week which is a week-long break that we get in university and so I didn't want to worry about any of my work. The thing is, one of my assignments is like, a group lab and we're supposed to like respond to this forum to say like hi my name is blah 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 and i'm free blah 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 both my group mates have not answered at all and they only have two more days to answer the response deadline oh i guess this one isn't an assignment i don't know why i thought it was an assignment i have a test on november 7th that one should be pretty easy i have all my notes written down the things i think i'm gonna study on my laptop this time normally i write down my notes on paper because i feel like that helps me memorize just to save time so i can do my lab i think i'm just gonna study from my laptop my next online class is at two i really I really feel like reading right now. The thing is, I don't know what to read because I don't really want to read Things You Save in a Fire because I don't think I'm in a romance mood right now. I could continue the mystery book I was reading last week, which is Nine Shall Sleep, but I don't know why. I think I fell out of my mystery mood because I was really enjoying the book and then for some reason I just stopped, so that was great, but maybe I'm in a fantasy mood. I feel like I haven't read fantasy in a while. I actually can't remember the last fantasy book I read, so I don't know. Once I start reading something, I'll let you guys know. Today's Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. I just finished my lab assignment. I'm in, so I'm like basically free this weekend, I think, and then for the next two days. So I actually started Wolf Song by TJ Klune. This one I'm actually enjoying. I haven't gotten bored yet. I know I'm only like 30 pages in or something, but the writing is like so easy to read to me. With the other books, I had trouble like getting into the writing. It wasn't that the story wasn't interesting to me. It was the writing for some reason. So this book is about a boy named Ox and he doesn't exactly fit in because of his appearance. He's like a lot taller than most people and that scares a lot of people. And so he has a hard time fitting in. A family named the Bennett family family moves in next door one day. It kind of changes his life. There's something about them that just seems odd. And he meets the youngest Bennett boy named Joe. And it seems they have some sort of connection, but Ox isn't sure why. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this family is so cute though. Like, and like, I'm pretty sure they're werewolves, obviously because of this cover, but Ox doesn't know that yet. I'm just waiting to see like when he's going to figure that out. This cover is so pretty though. I don't know how I feel about the orange sprayed edges. I don't think I really like them, but I'm going to have to live with it. <laughs> There's supposed to be a love story, I think, between Ox and Joe. But the thing is, they meet when Ox is 16 and Joe is 10 so obviously there's like nothing romantic happening between them so I'm guessing it's gonna happen like in the very far future or something. I don't know how I feel about the meeting when Ox is 16 and Joe is 10. I know what their romance is gonna happen in like their 20s. The fact that they meet like when Joe is so young I don't really know how I feel about age gap romances. I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm not used to romance between a 10 year old and a 16 year old. I mean a romance in their 20s. I'm sure I'll get used to it. Although I do think Joe has like a little crush on Ox. I am enjoying it though. Like I'm really liking the writing and I like Ox's character because he's so awkward that he's like really relatable. But yeah, I'm gonna continue reading this. I'm like recording at the back door so my dad doesn't hear me. Today's Halloween. Happy Halloween. I have to hand out candy because my dad refuses to do it. So I'm just awkwardly talking to these small children. I don't know how to talk to children, okay? Like I know I have a little brother, but it's just like I'm not good with children. <laughs> like what do you say? I just give them the candy as quickly as possible and then I'm just like happy Halloween. Like what else am I supposed to say? My dad keeps hearing these amazing imaginary people at the door. I'm just like, there's no one there. Also, we're going to the mall a bit later. I hope to get my mom a birthday present, but it's just like, I'm not sure because she doesn't really like stuff. When you get older, you find that you want less stuff. So I don't know if I'm gonna find anything, but I hope to because her birthday is tomorrow. I also want snacks. For some reason, I want a box of cereal just to munch on. I like it with milk too, but it's just like, I'm in a specific mood to eat dry cereal out of the box. I'll probably go to the bookstore when I'm at the mall too. I don't know, but yeah, I should probably go back to sitting at my table in case small children knock at the door again. <laughs> 
Hello, it's still Wednesday. We just finished handing out candy for tonight. <laughs> there were so many children. Well, there weren't that many children. I might be over exaggerating because I just don't like children, but lots of tiny children. There was a guy in a chicken costume and his costume like towered over me because it was one of those inflatables. There was one child who like didn't knock at the door. And so he was just staring inside like that glass pane in our door. And I'm just like, oh my God, there's a tiny child there. But yeah, I guess it went fine. I've never handed out Halloween candy before. Last year, my parents did it because I went out. In like the small town I used to live in, we had like no neighbors so i didn't have to hand out candy any year i mostly went out trick-or-treating with my friends in like other neighborhoods so this was the first year i ever handed out candy to kids so like it wasn't the worst experience i guess but definitely don't want to do it again anytime soon although i'm probably gonna have to do it again next year i think my cold has mostly gone away although i do sound a bit nasally still but fine anyways my charger cord is being used as a bookmark right now in my book so i can't exactly grab my book right now otherwise i'm gonna lose my page but i'm on page 48 i didn't realize how many years of like Ox's teenage life we would be getting but we're getting quite a bit and also apparently the Bennett family isn't all like sunshine and rainbows there's something off about them because one of Ox's sort of friends he's kind of like his boss but also like really close family in a way but not blood related one of Ox's friends knew the Bennett family in the past and according to him they're bad news so yeah don't only trust what's on the surface apparently I think Ox has a crush on some girl named I can't even remember her name right now but he has a crush on a girl right now again we're in his teenage years so there's gonna be a time skip where he somehow falls in love with joe still hasn't happened yet so he's going through his having a crush on a girl era and apparently she was so pretty that he ran into a wall i love that he's so awkward <laughs> so tomorrow's my mom's birthday i didn't manage to get her anything today because we ended up not going to the mall because my brother was too tired after trick-or-treating we're gonna go early tomorrow maybe i can find her something then but i don't really know like what she wants i tried asking her like a million times what do you want for your birthday and she's like i want a quiet house i'm just like oh not sure we can manage that with the four of us. I still want snacks. I want to get my box of cereal. Again, probably going to go to the bookstore. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything at the bookstore. I know Christmas book season is coming up, but there's like only one sort of Christmassy book I want to read. I think I might be in a reading slump because I didn't read that much of Wolf Song in like the past two days. I don't know. I guess I'll just read it really slowly. <laughs> also, there's something in my hair that's making it like really stiff at the ends here. Don't know what happened there. Oh, I'm also watching it in anime right now. I think it's called Gigi Harem or something. I don't really know if I pronounce that first word right it's really cute it's kind of like a one woman show in a way this one girl is acting out like an entire harem for her crush and she has like all these different personalities she acts out it's really cute i know it might sound weird but it's cute i swear but yeah that's pretty much all i finished a couple things for school today i didn't have too much i do have a test next week that i need to study for so i'll probably do that over the weekend but anyways i've been talking for way too long so i'm gonna go take a shower and i'll probably see you guys tomorrow it's 10 20 a.m on a friday right now for some reason yesterday i thought it was wednesday so if i said it was Wednesday yesterday. Really sorry about that. Today's my mom's birthday, so hopefully I can get her something at the mall. But I'm on page 115 of Wolf Song by TJ Klune, and I think I hear people who are awake upstairs. I finished my first class. The Bennett family is not dangerous. For a second, I thought they were, but then I completely misunderstood. It's okay, they're fine. They're a normal sort of werewolf, sunshiny family who is a bit violent sometimes because they are werewolves and they have to really protect their territory or something. Still don't know what that means. Still don't know what they have to protect it from, but I guess we'll find out. We found out why Ox had a connection to them. Apparently there's also witches in this world. I wonder if there's vampires too. They're slowly growing up. Ox's first girlfriend broke up with him for good reasons I think. Like I think it's fair that she broke up with him because he seemed like very I guess sort of distracted with his new werewolf family. He found out they were werewolves too. Also on the back of this book it says Wolf Song is Ox's story like right here. So I wonder if the other books are about like different main characters. I'm like really hoping everyone in the Bennett family will get their own love interest. This is a really big book though. Like, I think I'm only barely 20% of the way through like can you see my bookmark right there they're slowly growing up we're getting to see like ox developing as a person he also admitted to one of the bennett brothers carter that he also likes guys and then they had this really funny moment in the car it really just came out of nowhere and i started laughing it was kind of funny actually this entire family really is so sweet though i thought this family kidnapped a child but no one of their children got kidnapped by another bad family and i'm just like oh i completely misread that line but it's also just like apparently joe went through so much because joe is the one who got kidnapped before the bennett family used to live in Green Creek like a really long time ago but then they had to go find Joe because obviously Joe got kidnapped and so then they were gone for a really long time and then they had to stay away because Joe was kind of like in this bad mental state. Also Joe still has like a really big crush on Ox. I have to go get ready for the day so I'll let you guys know if I read any more of this book today. Okay we just came back from the mall. We managed to find my mom birthday present but anyways I switched up books again. <laughs> I'll still continue Wolf Song when I feel like it. Obviously we were out in public right? I had my book in my bag but I was in a bookstore. I didn't want to just whip out my book and have someone think I stole it or something so I went on my phone 
one and i continued none shall sleep by ellie marnie because last week i started it i got like 40 percent in then i just stopped for some reason because i was out of my mystery mood then i read about 10 percent at the mall today so now i'm at 50 percent. we also got a book at the bookstore i wasn't planning to and then i saw this book this book i've been looking for for a while it's crazy actually because every time i checked it wasn't there and then this one time when i wasn't like checking on purpose because normally it's in my head like i gotta check to see if it's there i gotta check to see if it's there i like wasn't intending on like going to check at all and then i was just walking around the fantasy section i was like oh my god it's here i gotta get it the reason why i wanted to try to find it in stores was because for some reason online it costs like 46 dollars and i was like that's crazy like is it out of print or something right now so i managed to find it in the bookstore for 28.99 i believe and i got a discount with my membership the zodiac academy by caroline peckham and susan valenti this has been everywhere i've actually been wanting to read this one for a while it's been on my tbr list for i think a little over a year or something i never got to reading it because i could never find it in stores and i'm just like oh i'll just buy it online someday and then i just never bought it online so i'm so glad i managed to find it in stores and i'm really glad i didn't buy it on amazon for 46.99 <laughs> do i have any clue what it's about no idea but i'm so interested because it's such a long series most of the time i really like long fantasy series because like keeps me interested if i do like it but yeah this is my only haul for today because honestly i wasn't intending on buying like any books today i read 10 percent of none shall sleep if you don't know what this book is it's like sort of like the naturals it's like teenagers solving murders but it's specifically like figure out teenage killers so they were hired by the fbi because they're teenagers and the fbi thinks if teenage killers are talking to teenagers it might be easier for them to get information this case has gotten a bit creepy they walked into a crime scene where like bodies were hanging from the ceiling and there was like blood everywhere i think there might be a romance between our two main characters happening for some reason i didn't expect it but i think i'm okay with it but yeah i think i'm gonna read a bit more of this book for now i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish it this week i think i'm just struggling to finish books this week for some reason i don't know why i read 20 pages of one book and then i just switch to another don't know why i'm doing that this is like a really late update it's like barely saturday anymore but it's 10 50 on a saturday right now went to my brother's soccer game this morning very chaotic but it ended in a tie went to the mall again because we had to pick up another one of my mom's birthday presents because it wasn't ready yesterday so we had to go back there and then i don't know i just started reading my book and i managed to finish today i got hooked enough that i just kept reading and i finished none shall sleep by ellie marnie i rated it a four out of five i actually really liked it i like the relationship between our two main characters it's like a very sort of slow burnish romance because it's like hardly there it's like really subtle it's between our two main characters emma and travis also weirdly enough my favorite character in this book was a side character named Kristen. she's kind of crazy her twin brother is a murderer named simon but weirdly enough she was my favorite character in this for some reason i don't know she was just so peppy but like so strange at the same time she also reminded me of sloan from the naturals for some reason so maybe that's why i liked her so much things got crazy near the ending like it got very exciting kind of sad but also really really crazy <laughs> there was like a chasing scene and then there was like a hostage scene it was just oh my god i didn't know how it was gonna end really but i think it ended pretty well it was kind of just like you figured out who the murderer was and then you just waited for chaos to unravel sort of thing oh my god and there was a guy named raymond in this he's like a higher up in the fbi we hated him we do not like that guy i'm just like can you please just go away now you are so unnecessary i mean he was necessary considering he was like one of the bosses but we just didn't like him because he was not a nice person <laughs> for some reason he just hated travis and emma the entire time and i'm just like what do you have against these teenagers that are trying to help you figure out a murder case oh my god there was a death in this book i like wasn't expecting if i'm being honest i wasn't expecting like any death besides like the victims in this book but it was just really shocking to me because i didn't expect it to happen like at all and it was so sad actually we got to know some of the side characters in this book for some reason i didn't think we would because i thought the story mostly just revolved around like travis and emma there is a second book in this series i believe there might be a third book coming out too but i'm definitely going to read the second book maybe not anytime soon but definitely sometime in the future also last night i finished re-watching divergent for like the fourth time or something i don't actually know how many times i've rewatched that movie it's kind of like a comfort movie i just put it on in the background and it's like background noise and also i like the romance in that movie theo james we love him in that movie <laughs> but anyways i think i'm gonna give myself a break from like reading words because this reading slump i don't know what's going on with me and like reading i'm having a hard time finishing books this week so i think i might give myself a break from like reading words and like maybe listen to an audiobook normally i don't like listening to audiobooks i'm just thinking that might help me get me out of my slump if i like finish another book really quickly so i think i'm gonna continue a book that i kind of dnf'd a while ago and it's winter song by sj jones i believe i got like 30 percent in with my physical copy and then i just put it down for reasons i can't really remember why and then i saw the audiobook was available in the library so i'm just like may as well listen to it <laughs> i normally listen to my audiobooks on like two times the speed so it should go by pretty quickly i also borrowed the novella from the naturals called 12 
by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I don't know if I'm gonna get to reading that this weekend, maybe next week, but I'm gonna go take a shower. So right now it's 8.49 on a Sunday right now. The reason why I'm up at this disgusting hour is because last night was daylight savings, so we got an extra hour of sleep. It's still too early for this, I think. So I realized I never explained to you what this book is actually about. So it's about this girl named Liesl who's very passionate about music, but she's not allowed to be a music composer because the only thing a woman can do in this time period is get married. And she's been seeing this guy named the Goblin King ever since she was young, but then one day her sister gets kidnapped by this Goblin King to be like some sort of sacrifice or something, and then Liesl goes to go find her sister in the underground labyrinth to win her sister back. She makes this bet with the Goblin King. If she can find a way out of the labyrinth, then her and her sister will be free. But obviously, it's not that simple, and right now, I think Liesl is in the process of trying to marry the Goblin King so the world won't be frozen in eternal winter. Woohoo. Sorry, I'm not explaining this really well. Again, it's really early. I'm like not cut out for mornings. So what I was saying before I found out my video got recorded in slow motion for some reason is that I don't like any of these characters. I feel like this is more story driven than character driven. It's just like I am not attached to any of these characters whatsoever. It's just like I feel like they have no personality. I guess the Goblin King has more personality than literally anyone in this book combined. It's gotten a bit more interesting since the Goblin King showed up. Also, I think I zoned out a couple times when I was listening to the audiobook last night. So whoops. I think the only thing interesting about this book so far is like the world, I guess, like the underground labyrinth. I just want to get this book over with. I've got 32 more percent, so I'll probably listen to that like right now. I'm like too lazy to get out of bed. Okay, so I finished Winter Song by S.J. Jones. It's like 12:30 right now. I rated it a three out of five. The weird thing about this book was I think I like the romance more than I like the characters. I don't really understand how I could like the romance when I didn't like any of the characters. So it's just like I also don't know how to feel about this book. I definitely like the world. It was definitely an experience. I don't think I'm gonna read the second book if I'm being honest. I like that this cemented the fact that I can't fully enjoy a book without liking the characters. Like I think I'd prefer a poorly written book with characters I love over a book that's really well written and with me not liking the characters, if that makes sense. Like this story was written really well. Like I could tell that at least. I think the fantasy part of this book was done really well. So yeah, 3.5 out of 5. It like wasn't bad, but it wasn't the best. I might continue Wolf Song by TJ Klune. I don't know. I might read another book if I'm being honest. I am really liking Wolf Song, but might pick another book. Look what just came in. It's so pretty. Like look at it. I pre-ordered this like three months ago maybe. It came out on October 29th. I believe this is this author's first traditionally published book. Maybe I might be wrong about that. This author is so so good. CG Drews. Also I am in fact continuing Wolf Song. I'm using a highlighter as a bookmark right now. Wow. Sorry I'm just marveling at this book. I've been waiting for so long for this to come out. I'm definitely gonna read this soon because fall is close to ending. I think I don't actually know how long fall lasts and when winter starts. This is this author's first horror book I believe. Fantasy 2 I think. I always look forward to when authors try out new genres because I kind of just want to see how the writing would like fit into like those different genres. Anyways we just had our first like actual fight scene in this book. I don't know too much about the Omegaverse. I wasn't aware this would be like about the Omegaverse until I started reading more. So apparently the Omegas are the bad guys. I don't think a family kidnapped Joe. It might have been a group of Omegas or something. Again I completely misunderstood that line where I thought the Bennett family kidnapped Joe earlier. A guy named Gordo told Ox that Joe was kidnapped and I'm just like did the Bennett family kidnap Joe? That's why I misunderstood so badly. I'm just like I didn't know who kidnapped Joe so I just assumed it was the Bennett family. <laughs> That's my bad. That's seriously my bad. My reading comprehension is actual crap. I'm on page 127. I don't know which chapter because there isn't exactly chapter numbers but you could just read that right there. <laughs> but yeah I'm just gonna continue reading. Okay it's 9 26 p.m. I need to go take a shower and then go to sleep really early because I have to wake up at like 6 30 tomorrow because my class is at 8. I don't want to go to class. Anyways thought I could end the video off here so I'll just tell you guys how many pages I've read of each book. And things you save in a fire I read 22 pages. Wolf song I read hold on hold on I read a bit more. 194 pages. In none shall sleep I read 60%. I don't know how many pages that is. I'll do the calculations later. And then winter song I read 70% with the audiobook. Again calculations will go somewhere in the corner when I edit this video. I feel like this was more of me just reading rather than like college life. I got some complaining in there. Also I feel like I was really lethargic this week so if some of my clips are like really slow so sorry about that. I don't know if I've read more or less pages than I normally read this week. You'll find out obviously when I do the calculations. But yeah that's gonna be all for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!